Friends, thank you for watching my channel. I just want to remind you if you need wallpaper, go to www.wallpaperboulevard.com. Tell them Spencer sent you. In fact, if you use my hashtag, Spencer Colgan is wallpaper, they'll be sure to give you a 10% off at your checkout. No matter how much you order, they have a wide selection of wallpaper. Check it out. Vahalan Aziri Crushed Metal Collection Installation The panels are 29 inches by 29 inches We've measured the center of the vertical space of the wall and that is my central point. I have decided that coming up this staircase, that it would be better to focus on this wall This wall is blocked by this column. And so, when you're coming up and you begin to take in the beauty of the wall, this wall, rather than this wall that is blocked, will be the focus of the, your attention. And so, my 29 inch tiles fell short by about two inches. After adjusting the wall covering, I would fall short two inches. So then I said, well, I can put a full panel here, bring it down four inches, and then I would have a little more meat at the top. And I said, no, let's go with the central point and begin from there. And because the distance between the top and the bottom of the wall divided by 29 the number of inches per tile vertically gives me an even number of tiles from here to there I will begin my installation with the edge of my first sheet on this side of the green and my second sheet edge starting right above the green line so that when I'm done installing my tiles 29 by 29 inches I will have an even number at the bottom as I do at the top without detriment to the beauty of symmetry. And so if my tiles will be symmetrically installed vertically, what about horizontally? Remember, this is the center of the, the your central, your, the center of your focus as you come up accentuating this beautiful tiled wall. So then I must necessarily consider the center of my horizontal space as well. You see, as you come up the stairs, this is not going to be behind a couch or a bed. You'll see this. And so I want to have symmetry here as I do here. The wall is what we call naked completely open to the inspection of the eye as you ascend this long staircase and get to consider all of the imperfections of your wallpaper installer. And so to avoid criticism on an unprofessional layout, we take careful consideration to make sure that symmetry is achieved particularly with respect to 
all of the aforementioned details. And so, I have discovered the center, C for center, of my horizontal space on this wall without regard to this space here. Oh no. We want to hit it in the center. And so we will start with this tile on the left side of my line and this tile on the right side. And guess what? We cover, coincidentally, this little space without making a seam. My wall covering ends about right here, overlapping this slew here. Is that what you call it? We will put vinyl over vinyl paste on this corner, which is already sticky, because we have put our clear paste on this wall already. And as you can see, It's drying, right? Nice and sticky. Okay, very important to Velcro the wall. You don't want this stuff coming up on the edges, tons of edges on these 29 by 29 tiles. And here is the beautiful product. These are handmade, and they are hand-painted as well. One of the best products on the market. Okay, that cross represents the four corners of the beginning of the installation. So, with one wallpaper table, I roll my panels here, and I bring them over to my other table, over here. Now I've taken my VOV, my heavy duty vinyl over vinyl paste, and I've put it in my inside corner, at my edge, and most importantly, right there, on this outside corner, this side, and the other one. You see my line, my laser? You can be on the green line, you can be just a hair over the green line, or a hair just on the inside of the green line. If you don't get it right consistently on this side or that side or on the line, in the first few sheets, the results can be really detrimental to 
the product being square throughout the rest of the job. If I were going around an entire room, I would leave myself two inches at least at the top, maybe three, where I would bring the wall covering beyond three inches, a full tile cutting off three inches at the top, because as I go around with this product, I'm going to lose a quarter of an inch here after a corner. Yes, 3 16 You don't want to be off with this line. If something's going to ruin the product, let it be the carpenters who have already been paid and are gone. Because if it's you, you're gonna have to buy this product. So, I don't say it to be condescending. Please be sure that your product is precisely consistent either on the green or off of it, either inside or outside of it. Because if you look closely, you see I just adjusted it. It's very important that the edge of the wall covering have the same amount of green light on it. Now, I'm only six feet tall. Let me stand up and see that it's consistent at the top as well. Boo boo. I did a boo boo. I'm off. Let me show you what I'm talking about. Let me show you. You might say, perfect, Spencer, you're on the green. You're on the green, look at that. Great job. Not here. I'm nice there, but then I run off here. Quick adjustment. Quick adjustment. We don't want to get embarrassed. Okay? I'm not saying get nervous over this product. Oh my goodness. Just, just adjust it. Don't let that go. That's a problem. Okay? My wife says, Did you shrink? Did you shrink? I told her I was six feet tall when I moved. Did you shrink? I don't know. It seems like, you know, you're not as, you're not six feet tall. No, I, I didn't shrink. Do you cut your inside corners? You bet. Don't leave it to chance and come back the next day and find a bunch of air in it. It's too late if you do that. Hopefully my YouTube video that I'm making doesn't get copyrighted.
Okay. I hope it doesn't get copyrighted. If it does, I'll just do a voiceover. Now, we have a material imperfection. It's not exactly the same size as the tile against which I just put the second sheet. But, we're going to do our best. Okay. Now, let's lubricate the wallpaper with, with water. Never saw that happen.
Okay. So, let me bring up those. If there's one piece of advice I can give you, is go slow. Go slow on each piece. Here's why. Two things. One, you can get bubbles as you, keep, as you move along. And you don't want to have three panels up and be dealing with bubbles from three sheets ago. The other, the other advice I would give you is to know your seam. What do I mean by that? Or know your best seam. Okay, so what I mean by that is you can overwork your seams. Now this is fine wall covering, but you can take the paint off of this if you work the seams too much. Now look, watch the seam. I'm pushing it closer. Now I'm overlapping it. What I started out with was my best seam. You can work it too close where it starts pushing up toward you. And you have to know when to lay off. And if you know when to lay off, your seam is gonna look gorgeous. I'm not rubbing too hard on this thing. Just enough where if it's laying proud, it'll push it down into place. If I push too hard, I'm gonna make track marks on this very delicate reflective surface. And I don't want that. Okay. So go slow. You might say, oh yeah, it's a small wall, you know. I'm just gonna charge the customer for the price I do for a wall. And then you find out it took three days to do the one wall because you gave it the time to expand, contract, and look its best. If you rush it, the next day when you come back, you'll be mortified. You'll be mortified. You'll have bubbles all over the place. Let me take you up close. I'm not cleaning this, I'm just lubricating it because I don't want to be making marks on the wall covering. Now it's loosely installed here, it's loose. And now just take a note of the manner in which I press on the wall covering. Look at this. See the dent I just made? Okay. This is. You don't want this to be your first rodeo. Okay. Okay, light. Press harder, harder, harder. Gradually press. Now I'm going toward the corner on a vertical angle.
gently pushing those seams just together. I'm compressing them. I'm embedding the seam. What does that mean, I'm embedding the seam? I am pushing the seam into place where it will be for the rest of its life. It's one thing to just put the wallpaper on, on the wall, but when you embed the seam, you're pushing it into place for permanent installation. Folks, this stuff is sensitive. Now I have to say, it doesn't scratch. You want quality wall cover? This is, this is your product. Vahalan, Lincoln, Nebraska. Call Dan, tell him Spencer said hello. You see all the work that gets involved? I'm covering every square inch methodically. What do I mean by methodically? Well, if you just look, you'll see a very planned out passing of my smoother over the product, left to right, right to left. When I come to my corner, I'm, look at how I'm going across it. See that? Now vertically, why am I doing this? To push out any lines, I made the opposite direction. And we're getting rid of the enemy. Bubbles. Bubbles. I don't want to disturb my line. My seam, look. Oh, nice and gentle. I'm barely pressing when I get down there. But we want to get that out. See that? I don't know if you can see it from your end. Nice. Nice and gentle. Here's the thing you can do to mess this up. You can press so hard that you make an impression on the paste underneath the wall cover. If you do that, take the sheet off. Take the sheet off and spread the paste again, okay? On the wall and on the wall covering. In other words, if you made an impression, take it off, wipe it off. Take the wall covering off, wipe off the paste, and reapply it. Because if this stuff dries in a congealed position other than flat, well, it's going to telegraph right through the wall covering. Now, this is not a knock on Valhallen wall covering. It's not a knock. I'm gonna show you something. Okay, look. My left is a sixteenth of an inch higher. It's just the way it is, folks. Now, you wanna combat that? Do a double cut. Do a double cut. Take a quarter of an inch off of it, overlap them, you'll have perfection. However, you have to be perfect like a machine. You can do that. I did it on the Bristol. See Spencer Colgan, Vahalan wall covering, Bristol Cortica. And you'll see that I trimmed the wall covering by overlapping it. Corners are very important. Let's talk about corners. Okay, not too much friction. I'm not going too hard. You don't want to create too much heat. Every time I do this, I'm creating heat. Okay, now look. Start on the corner. Not like this, where you can make an impression, but like this. Okay, and also like this. What you're doing is telling the paste, if there's too much there, I'm going to pull you out of there. That's all. If you start like this, you might wind up trapping it right in that corner. Okay? Nice and easy. OK, 
Okay, now we can wrap our corner. And if you want to see this in detail, just look up Spencer Colgan on YouTube, how to achieve tight grass cloth corners, outside corners, and you'll see the procedure, the paste I use, and the, the muscle involved with doing this correctly. I don't want to have to go through it again. Just look it up. Can you imagine doing a great job with this product only to find out that you got fat corners? Don't let it happen to you. So here's how you get fat corners. You're looking at a 90 degree angle, right? Or are you? A 90 degree angle is an angle at which this wall meets this wall at 90 degrees. Well, this might be 90 here, but this might be 88 here or 91. And if that's the case, as you look at your corner, sometimes drywall finishers get sloppy and they put a little more finish on the corner here as you can see, than they do here. And so what that does is that that additional compound takes up more of your wall covering at that particular place And where it's not as fat with the plaster, it takes up less of your wallpaper. The result is that here, for example, you have a lot of real estate underneath the wall covering, gripping onto your wall covering and making it straight. And then you get 12 inches down and she gets skinny, forcing the wall covering to go from tight to loose. Take a man's physical stature. If his upper body comes out and his gut comes in, well, it's gonna change the contour of the way his shirt drapes around his torso. Same exact idea. So how much paste do you want off the back? of one of these sheets. That's about it. That's not very thick. Okay? You want enough to make it stick. If you're putting it on where your finger would make like a snow plow if you ran it down, against this paste, you put too much. Thin layer, thin layer. Okay, we completed the wall yesterday. As you see, there's symmetry between top and bottom. There was just, aesthetically, there was no better way to do it, in my opinion, than to do it like this. I have a large piece at the bottom and a large piece at the top. Okay, having said that now, we have an interruption in the wall, these tiles, and then we continue on. There's only one way, there's only two ways to do this, and that is to get a chalk line and to put it on your seam over here, run it across here, and snap the line. But with laser levels, it eliminates the need for the chalk line. And so we join this level line and we transfer that levelness over to here. Okay? 
And then in order to save my battery on my laser level, I simply strike a pencil mark where my level line will be. And that's how I transfer the level. Can you imagine if you, if you say, oh, let's wing it and you're off two inches, I'm telling you, it's very noticeable. 